It's national meets regional. It's sidewalks entertainment. The long running celebrity. Music. And art series. Join us for a new path to arts and entertainment. Hi everyone and welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment. I'm Veronica Castro and we're here at DreamWorks Animation Studios, one of the coolest places to be, Richard, right? That's right. It's, it's really cool over here. I mean, they, this is what actually they make a lot of the animated films you see, yeah. like Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> well, well, you don't like that? Kung no, Fu. no, I mean, be careful with your legs. Oh. You hurt yourself last time doing that. Yeah, that's so. true. That's right. <laughs> I do it for television. <laughs> Well, you actually got a chance to interview some cool people. You got to interview uh, Tiffany Ward, who's actually the daughter of Jay Ward, who created Bullwinkle and Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Yeah, that was probably back in your day, right? <laughs> Thanks for dating this. <laughs> also, you got to interview the director. That's right, the director, Rob Minkoff. And he's actually a pretty cool guy. That's right. Yeah. Well, let's find out about them. But first, let's take a look at a clip from Mr. Peabody and Sherman. It appears the boats of Ra are the key to our escape. Aha! Quickly, Sherman! Careful, Sherman! It's a booby trap. One wrong step and we're done for. The boat of Ra sails straight today. Take the wrong boat, man will pay. All right, Sherman, now it's your turn. Uh, the boat of Ra sails straight today. Uh, play. Uh, I mean pay. Oh, my. Uh-oh. Run! Ah! Sherman, get in the boat! Sherman! Mr. Peabody! What are you doing over there? I thought you put it in this one! Hang on! Ah! Oh. <gasps> Sherman, are you all right? I'm good. All right, welcome to Sidewalks. Here with me is Tiffany Ward and Rob Minkoff. How are you guys today? Doing great, right, thank um, you. You know what, first off, I wanna say I had such a blast at DreamWorks Animation Studio. The presentation was awesome. And I, I can imagine how much fun it was for you guys to make this film, if it was that much fun at the studios. I mean, how much fun was this? And how did you guys come together to make this film, Mr. Peabody and Sherman? Well, it was a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we came together, it was, it was nearly 12 years ago, and uh, we met to talk about the possibility of taking these two amazing characters that her dad created and making a movie. That's awesome. And now, as far as, if you can give me like a quick synopsis of the film, kind of in a couple seconds, if you can quick break synopsis. down. Quick uh, synopsis. Mr. Peabody and Sherman is, a, is, a, is a, a father and son story, but in this case, the father is a dog, and the son is his adopted son, Sherman. Uh, and it's, it's, it's about that relationship and how it changes when he sends his son to school and he meets a girl named Penny Peterson who will change his life forever. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's also about the Wayback Machine, which is something Mr. Peabody invented for Sherman so that he could take him on time-traveling adventures all over history to meet the most incredible assortment of historical figures you can imagine. Now, having explored DreamWorks, I mean, that is a huge place. And I can imagine that this animation probably took a pretty long time to make and there was a ton of people. How many people did it take to create this and how long did it take? Wow. And what well, was it like working with DreamWorks? If you, if, you, if you count the number of names on the credits, it's literally 1,324 people. Wow. I'm not sure that each one of them actually worked on the movie because DreamWorks has a policy of crediting everyone who actually works at the studio. Yeah. But uh, I mean, easily six, 700 people worked on the movie. That's amazing. Now, as far as picking places of where to travel, obviously Mr. Peabody and Sherman go on these adventures. They're going back in time. What was it like trying to come up with where to take them? Wow, well, you know, it was a lot of fun exploring uh, all the possibilities because we've been developing it for such a long time that we've gone to so many places that we couldn't actually go in the, in the final movie. But the group of places we went to ultimately were chosen because they actually connected into the, the story about the evolving relationship between Mr. Peabody and Sherman. And so each one of them had to kind of uh, reflect and, and, and sort of help that progression. Delivery! <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, Diomedes. Menelaus, my man! My man. Are you ready to get on the field, Shermanus? Sure thing, Mr. Agamemnon. <laughs> That's cute. Shh. Odysseus, what news do you bring? 
Someone left this for us! A present, nice. It looks just like our horse. Should I bring it inside? It'd be rude not to. Go! <laughs> I did not see that coming! Greetings, men of Athens, Sparta, and Thebes. Peabody here. Kill him! Ah! No, no! He's... My dad. It's an adoptive relationship. <gasps> oh. And what was casting light for, for you two and picking the characters to voice the, the, the characters? Well, that was really Rob's job. But they did bring me on, on the call on listening to Mr. Peabody and Sherman because of the, the history and the, the creativity. Okay. And um, Max Charles, who is now just 10, started <clears throat> working at 7. Um, and he's just brilliant. And what's really interesting, he wasn't even born when we started oh, the development wow. of his movie. Little well, did he know. Yeah. And then Mr. Peabody was pretty attached to the Bill Scott voice that I grew up with. But Rob convinced me that Ty would do a great job, and he's done a marvelous job, even though it's not a sound alike. Right. He's acted it beautifully. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I was like, that, that voice is so, like, it's got an interesting voice. Um, Sherman, I was like, what a cute voice. Like, I, I want that voice to hang out with me. <laughs> well, that's so, it's really interesting. In the original show, Sherman was played by uh, like a 40-year-old man right. named Walter Tetley. Right. And, uh, and yet, at the beginning of the project, you know, I, I felt like it would be really great if we could get a kid to do the part because to bring him to life as, as a real child as, as a, uh, would, would actually just be a wonderful thing to see with Mr. Peabody. Right. Now, for Tiffany and, and Rob, you guys have ties to the Bay Area. What inspired you to, you know, get into animation and living, coming here from the Bay Area? Wow. Well, I loved animated films growing up. I watched them on television. I watched, obviously, Jay Ward's work. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, I, I actually went to uh, CalArts uh, to study animation mm -hmm. uh, and then got, got a job working at Disney in 1983. And, of course... Well, I, I, I'm <laughs> not an animator by any stretch, but I grew up in this family of, anim you know, my dad wasn't an animator either, but I was at the studio a lot and saw that. So it's a more distant process for me than it is for Rob, but I certainly have loved it. Right. And now for you, Tiffany, your father obviously is the original creator of Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Yes. What do you think he would say and how do you think he would feel? Like, what would be his words to you and maybe to the people that helped make the film? Oh, he would be so excited about this. I mean, not only is it true to his characters, but Dad always had these amazingly low budgets. And so the animation was never very attractive, to put it mildly. It was just these kind of stick figures that moved along. To see this 3D animation is just spectacular. So I think the first thing he'd be is just dazzled about what they look like, but he'd be so happy with the storyline too. And now real quick, I have to ask, I brought my brother yesterday. He loves animation. Unfortunately, he can't really continue doing animation, he feels, because he has something with his vision. What do you say to people who are into animation and feel discouraged? How do you encourage them, and what was it that you guys did to help you get to the level that you're at today? Sure. Wow. Well, you know, <laughs> it, it's true. If, you, if you're going to pursue what you love, uh, you're going to have to overcome a lot of obstacles. Yeah. And the truth is, is that you got to always, you know, have, keep heart. You know, you have to always keep hope alive that, that you can do it. Uh, and, and if you want it enough, and if you're willing to work hard enough, then you can get there. Same for you, Tiffany, as well. I, I was lucky. I didn't have a personal plan for my life ever, but when my dad died and I took the mantle of running the business, I just had a vision of things I wanted to accomplish, and, and I managed to accomplish those. So I, you know, it helped probably having a plan, yeah. you know, where you wanted to go, when, or you know, at least a concept. Well, at least he set the foundation for you with, with all the oh, cartoons. Oh, trust me, I got the jewel of a present from him. I'm not creative like that, but yes, I just had plans. Well, thank you so much. I wish I had more time with you. Thank you for being here. And much success and luck, and look forward to possibly a sequel. We like that idea. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you. you, guys. The only thing harder than being the world's most extraordinary doll. Sherman, no matter what challenges you face, no matter how far away I might seem. Bye, Mr. Peabody! I'm with you. There they are, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Oh my goodness. You know, and ladies and gentlemen, the real live action version.
you, Ara. Right. He's doing his own voiceover. His own voiceover. I can't see anything with this. Hey, we got to get out of here. Thank you very much for watching Sidewalk. We really do appreciate it. Yes, I had a blast here That's at DreamWorks. Best. Richard, oh my God, I want to come back here. If you guys ever get a chance to come to DreamWorks, oh my God, this is the best place to be. But anyways, we got to end the show. Make sure you find out more about Sidewalks and more of the stories that we had here today by going to SidewalksTV.com. You can like us on Facebook and you can find us on Twitter. That's right. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Really, how do I look in these? Are they pretty good?